A series of fires are threatening parts of Greece, with strong winds making matters worse. North of Athens, flames swept through a pine forest. It's not clear what caused it, but reports of arson are being investigated, and concerns that climate change is worsening similar fires and other extreme weather events across Europe. Mark Lobel reports. A familiar sight at this time of year in Europe, but is it getting worse? Tackling forest fires from the skies around Athens. The question being asked on the ground is what climate change may be doing to exacerbate the problem. As homes are destroyed and residents evacuated, temperatures are set to rise even further this week after an already tough start. It was a very difficult fire which moved from area to area with the wind and as a result spread extremely quickly with multiple fronts erupting. In northern Italy, hailstorms causing extensive damage. With flash flooding and landslides damaging homes. Sardinia's still reeling from forest fires, forcing hundreds to evacuate, with a state of emergency declared there. It's hoped rain will help rescue Spain from Catalonia's worst wildfires in two years. Turkey's also wading in as a major disaster area is declared after weeks of flooding and landslides in its northeastern coastal region. Isha. Just the damaged furniture, shops and cars amount to millions. That's not including broken infrastructure and all the recovery work still needed. Elsewhere in Europe, that recovery work is already underway. In Belgium, after the trauma of historic floods, three quarters of annual household waste dumped in just two days, as the death toll continues to rise. While in Germany, where bridges once lay, an impromptu ferry service after their floods. In London, a major city brought to its knees by the flash flooding. All a prescient warning with just a dozen days to go until the latest science on climate change is published. Expected to be a clarion call to world leaders to act with time no longer on their side as the changing climate closes in on our planet. Mark Lobel, BBC News.